Spitta here, back for another LEGO Ninjago set review for you guys. Now, another 2015 set. This is set number 70752, The Jungle Trap. Has 58 pieces and is uh, recommended ages for 6 to 14. Now, on the front here, you can see our two minifigures that we get in this set, battling it out for the Jade Blade. So, very cool. A uh, very small set. You can see down here, I got it for $6.95. I actually got it at my local Barnes & Noble. Kind of weird, but you guys um, probably saw that haul video that I did get it, along with the Blocks magazine, so pretty cool. You can see everything on the front there. On the top, it just shows um life-size image of the Jade Blade, as well as on the back, different play features, which will be all covered in this video. So, pretty awesome little set, so let's go ahead and... Open it, build it, and show you exactly what's inside. building the set. Hope you guys have enjoyed the time lapse. We get into the minifigures first. Now this here is Kai in his robes that he wore for the Tournament of Elements. Very cool. You can see the different printing there on his torso. Now he comes with one golden sword or katana uh, that we've seen many times before. And whenever you take that out, you can see that he is wearing um, a shirt with no sleeves. And you can also see his back printing there which is with his logo. Now his hair is the same that we got it before as well as his face, so I don't have to show you that. As well as his uh, little hooded mask over his mouth and nose. You can see his uh, printing on there, very nice. You can see he's got some uh, black gloves on. As well as some nice printing on the legs. So overall, very nice Kai minifigure this, uh, as of right now. I have every single Kai that has been produced, so that is very cool. Now, the next minifigure and last minifigure, there are two minifigures in this set. Now, this is Crate, spelled K-I, or K-R-A-I-T, so Cryet or Crate. I call him Crate. You can see that he's just another one of Chen's warriors or helpers. You can see that he's got a double-sided blade axe or double-sided bone axe that we saw a lot in Series 1 of Ninjago from the uh, Skeletons. And he's basically like all the other warriors. You can see his uh, printing there on the back, as well as his head gear of the just like the serpent skull. So that is pretty cool. If I take that off, you can see his printing on his head. No double-sided head. And you can basically see all the printing right there on his torso and legs. So that is pretty much for it for the minifigures. Now we'll... Now let's go ahead and take a look at the main build, the Jungle Trap. Here is the finished product of the Jungle Trap. You can see some uh, different stone pieces there in the front, as well as the use of the triangular piece, not a square piece, just to give it that little extra detail so it's not completely symmetrical. You can see the leaves are hiding one of the play features, or the only play feature in this set other than looks which are two stone blades. So I'll show you that play feature in just a couple seconds as I give you guys uh, just a 360 view. Now this set is mostly just for the one play feature as well as if you want to collect all the jade blades as you can see up here. Let me just grab this from up here. It is being held by one skeleton leg you can see right there. And if you guys want a closer look at the jade blade, here you guys go. It's got a double sided jade blade so very cool one of my favorite jade blades, I think, because you get two of them. So, uh, yeah, and that just fits right there on its holder. So if you guys want to see that closer, there you guys go. You can see how it just sits on there. And, uh, yeah, you can see the little bit of a dojo-looking shrine uh, up on the top. It just gives it that extra detail. I really, really like that. Probably one of my favorite details in the set, as well as the leaves over here hiding the play feature. So, talking about the play feature, let's go ahead and do that now. So basically, what the play feature is, is that if you're Kai here, and you're coming up to get the Jade Blade, and you step right here, if you step hard enough, and you're heavy enough, I guess, this will come down, and the, I guess the stone blades or swords 
will shoot up. Now there is some some flaws with this because it it's it kind of works half the time and then some of the times it goes over like that. That's a little bit annoying, but you know you get the feature. Uh, Kai's coming up here. He steps right here and boom, the swords come up, slice him or dice him, whatever. And uh, yeah, so just a little hidden feature. I actually really really like how you can move these up up and down here so you can hide the uh, blades behind there so you can put them all the way down or put them all the way up like this of course this would be like blocking the path you know Kai can pull away the reeds for like a stop motion that would be very very cool and uh, yeah so that is pretty much it just one more 360 you can see the different colors that are used in here more of like a tan some brown as well as some gray so uh, yeah pretty good for the price value I guess a very very small set with only 58 pieces however you get two mini figures for six I got I got mine for 695 so uh, yeah pretty good deal so now let's go over on two final thoughts that wraps up the review of set number 70752 from the Lego Ninjago range jungle trap I hope you guys have enjoyed this review down in the comment section down below comment which one of these minifigures is your favorite like I was saying for the price point and the amount of minifigures in this set it is a very good buy just the minifigures alone make up the price value of seven dollars and uh, yes, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm AAG Spitta. If you guys have not, you guys can check out my other LEGO Ninjago reviews in the LEGO Reviews playlist on my channel. I've got quite a few more LEGO Ninjago 2015 reviews, if you guys have not checked them out. And the Enter of the Serpent review, very, very awesome set. Highly recommend you guys go check that one out. And uh, yeah, that's about it for me here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Subscribe so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching.